An industry association representing firms like Disney and Netflix says that plans to clamp down on the sale of illegal TV set-top boxes is a step in the right direction. E-commerce sites have also started taking action. The sellers of these devices are not calling it quits just yet. Liang Lei with this report. This mall is well known for selling computer and tech equipment. Some of its retailers are also known to sell TV set-top boxes that stream pirated content. On Tuesday, the law ministry laid out plans to jail those selling these devices. They could also be fined up to $100,000. The news seemed to have spooked some stall owners here. But not all have stopped sales completely. So one seller told me to continue to sell set-top boxes with pirated content till the stronger law actually kicks in. Now that's expected later this year. Another told me he's looking to clear stocks at cost price through messaging platforms or he plans his next move. Buying these set-top boxes online will also be harder. Shopee says it removed listings that don't comply with the proposed changes to the Copyright Act. Q10 says it's informed buyers and sellers of the updates. The Asia Video Industry Association says it welcomes efforts by the government to stamp out illicit streaming devices. It makes it more complicated if it's online retail, um, and especially if the online retailer is overseas. Uh, so that's something that an industry body such as ours is looking at to, uh, to talk to those intermediaries. Mr Boswell adds the process for copyright holders to act on infringements could also be made easier. In Singapore, if a rights holder sees somebody infringing their, their IP, uh, we can go to court and we can get it removed. But the process is long, lengthy and expensive. In other jurisdictions, there is a department in government that looks at it and will arbitrate and decide and that happens much more quickly. Such processes are currently used by countries such as Malaysia and Indonesia.